Hello and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have uh, another simple uh, order of operations example here. And the reason why I call it order of operations, uh, whenever you've got an expression or an equation um, that has multiple operations, basically you're mixing addition, multiplication, uh, division, subtraction, and any combination, uh, you need to abide by the order of operations. Uh, if you're just doing simple addition, subtraction, uh, you don't have to worry about it. Or if you're just multiplying two numbers, you don't have to really worry about it. But here's a case where you've got 2 plus 6 divided by 2 times 3. So we have mixed operations. Um, and a common mistake I'll see is people will just start solving this left to right. And they'll just say, well, 2 plus 6 and then divide by 2 and then multiply by 3, which is not which is not correct. Um, the order of operations convention's been around um, a long time, and um, um, it's just it's forgotten quite a bit. Um, so yeah, basically, for this problem, we need to follow the order of operations convention. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail in it. I have other videos. I'll put uh, some links in the video description uh, for the order of operations convention, but I will say Right off the bat, it's not new mathematics. I do see a lot of people go, oh, it must be that new math. But um, all they're basically saying is they they forgot what they were taught uh, because this is nothing new. It's been taught for decades. It's actually got roots back into the 16th century. But uh, I don't want to get into that all that right now. Um, I want to just get into this puzzle. Um, I will say, though, order of operations, you have four basic steps. Uh, there are no, you know, in this case, you're, we're looking for parentheses to start with. We don't have any. Uh, you might also call them brackets. Uh, we don't have any. So we look for exponents, or you may call those orders or indices. Uh, we don't have any of those either. So you go uh, next down the line, step number three, we want to look for any multiplication uh, and division, and we just solve those left to right. Uh, they have equal precedence. Division is just the multiplication of a reciprocal, so one's not more important than the other. You just solve them left to right. Uh, and then number four, you solve addition and subtraction left to right. Subtraction is just the addition of a negative number, so addition and subtraction have equal precedence. That's why they both are listed on step number four. So um, in this case, if we're going left to right, we said we have, we're going to look for multiplication and division whichever comes first. In this case, division is com comes before the multiplication going left to right. Uh, had it been the other way, we would have done multiplication first. So we do the division first. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So you see here, then we have 2 plus 3 times 3 equals something. Uh, the next order... Uh, as we go through the order of operations, we do the multiplication uh, because that comes next in the problem. So uh, we have 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, and then finally, we're going to do any addition or subtraction. Well, we don't have any subtraction, so it's just addition. So we're left with 2 plus 9 equals 11. Uh, now you can type this into, say, an Android phone. Um, and you'll, you'll get the correct answer. Um, for some reason, you know, Androids, iPhones, their calculators are, are going to solve this correctly. Yeah, they're, they are programmed for the order of operations. Uh, for some reason, I, I don't know the reason why Microsoft, uh, has these two different calculators and they're poorly explained. Uh, the one that normally comes up in, in a Windows 7, Windows 10, even Windows 11, uh, is is a standard mode calculator, and if you use that calculator, the, uh, for some reason it's set up for immediate execution. So in other words, it's basically you type in five plus five, it automatically gives you ten. And then if you try to do a multiply, uh, now if you multiply by three, it's going to take your ten, multiply it by three, it'll probably give you thirty. I think is what it's going to do. It's um. Um, really kind of a pain, honestly. It's, uh, um, I'm going to actually just try to do this live on here because I'm recording my screen. So let's do that and see what I'm saying. So what was our problem? 
uh, we say, okay, normally I've got it in scientific, but normally when you use this calculator on a, and this is a Windows 11 machine, by the way, I think this goes, I don't know about Windows XP or Windows 95. Um, I've heard some people say at some point they changed it over. Uh, right now, I don't have any machines that old that I could test, but you know, if we if we try to enter this in two plus six, and then I hit the divide, okay, divide. Already, it's giving me eight. Two, and then I'm going to hit times three equals twelve. Let's do that again. Two plus six divided by two times three equals 12. That's the wrong answer. Why Microsoft does it this way, I have no idea. Why would you want a calculator? I mean, I get it. This basically acts like a Dollar Tree calculator or, you know, if you go to Dollar General and you buy something in the bin that's a dollar, you know, that's the kind of calculator you get. It doesn't have an internal stack. So it doesn't, you know, it can't keep track of the order of operations. But my goodness, this is Microsoft Windows for crying out loud. Why do they do that? Now, I I've, I actually looked up some links like from Reddit and uh, actually there's a Microsoft Answers forum where people were complaining about it. And they were like, well, you just switched to scientific. Well, why should you have to? You really shouldn't have to. I mean, if I do switch to scientific and I go two plus six divided by two times three equals i get 11. so um you know i've had people tell me no you're wrong if you use a standard calculator you're going to get 11 too and i see a lot of people in forums. i'll see people in forums just say go use a calculator and uh, that's really not good advice because if you do that you're going to uh possibly have somebody use the standard mode calculator and they're going to get the wrong answer. So um, not necessarily um, a good thing. So anyhow, I just wanted to finish off with that. At some point, I may have to just do a video on calculators because this is a real point of contention where I'll see people in forums, you know, throwing up screenshots from their calculator and, uh, you know, it's just kind of a pointless argument because a lot of people don't understand, uh, especially here. Like this, is, to me, this is ridiculous that you have a standard and a scientific. If somebody can explain that to me, like what's the reasoning? I mean, I get scientific. You got trigonometry. I see you got pi on here, square roots. Okay, great. But even if you're just, why, why, why does my Android phone do this correctly? but the Windows standard calculator doesn't. I, I don't want to get off, I'm getting kind of off the subject here, but um, just wanted to cover that real briefly. So I hope this video has been helpful and um, I'm gonna try to keep these puzzles coming. You know, please like, share, subscribe. Um, all that stuff is helpful to me. So I appreciate your time if you lasted this long. Thank you and have a great day.